Okay, I've got my wires attached onto this board here. So now I'm gonna put this whole assembly back together. I'm gonna start with uh, these conductive strips for the LCD. One of them was stuck to it and the other one dropped off. This is a guide that keeps the uh, conductive strips in the right orientation, I hope. And uh, here's where they're gonna conduct again on two. So I just have to flip this over. There's some pins that locate it. Kind of like that right there. Now I just have to, they have a lot of screws holding this together. So I'll zip these screws in here. And you know, it may not work the first time. I might have to go in there and adjust those conductive strips. Who knows? But I think it should work. And then I'll do another video later about the uh, testing it with this, this circuit here, where I hook it up to the optocoupler and start and stop the timer electronically. I looked briefly on the internet to see if I could just find a timer uh, that I could control with a contact, but uh, I could find them, but they were they were, they were very expensive. And uh, decided to go with this one. I think this one was about $5. And it should be able to give me the timing I need just to have a general idea if I'm improving or not with my practice. Let's see, one more screw, looks like it must go there. I guess all these screws are needed to hold the LCD conductive strips together. And I'm gonna wrap my wire down in there. And it goes through a little hole that I little I cut away a little of the plastic here so the uh, wire can escape out of the case. And I'll set this as a spring guide here. And I can drop the cover back on here. Let's put, better put the battery in there. That would be disappointing. And hopefully when I turn this over, I see the LCD displaying correctly. That would be nice. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I just have to get it in the right mode, which that's it right there, I believe. So the timer's still working, uh, the start and stop button. And theoretically, if I short these pins out here, let's see if I can do it with the tweezers here. Sure enough, it works uh, perfectly. So all I have to do is tie this circuit here to the optocoupler, the PVG612, and then I can use my circuit to electronically control this uh, timer. So it looks like it's a, another successful day on the, on the development. And uh, do another one soon, showing the whole system working, hopefully.